Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering War 4 in Season 46. And this one is against Nefty. I'm going Path 1 into Path... It's either 8 or 7. I, can't, I think it's Path 8. And... First time bringing my Titania to War. And also, I took a new champ up to rank 3 about 20 minutes before I joined this war just because I got lucky out of a daily crystal and got a full tier 6 CC of a certain class and ended up taking that champ to rank 3 earlier than I expected which was quite nice now that Spider Supreme is quite easy Titania next up this Nova with Chavez I, yeah, we, we just thought this fight would be pretty simple. But until I mess it up like that and forget that he goes unblockable. Yeah, that could cost potions. If I'm not able to heal up above 80% with the special two, I that's my rule of thumb when it comes to non-tactic fights, 80%. And I'm not okay. And luckily here I get to 81, so I'm just above. But potions this season are that valuable for when things go wrong against tactic champs that I feel like they take priority over champ over fights that I, I know I won't necessarily die to. But yeah, here's the new rank three, Mr. Shocker himself. Now, the plan here originally was special one, special two, but looking at how much damage I'm actually dealing, I did not mean to do that at all. And I missed into, <laughs> into miss twice there again. I should really put more ones on for those. Yeah, well, it's not in the ruling. I'm going to put that in the ruling for next time, but I'm going to let myself off for that one, but yeah. Looking at how much damage I actually did already, like, just combos and special two alone got to 34%, and that heavy was way overkill. But yeah, I was quite happy with that. Next up, this Hawkling that I've taken at least 500 times at this point. That I, I'm basically taking every war at this point now. Yeah, that one, again. And... Yeah, believe it or not, it doesn't go much different to any other time I've taken it. I do have a slight strategy that I try to use here. So I throw my special two into the indestructible so it doesn't kill him, but I still get the region. Wait for him to throw a special two here. Probably should have went for a heavy knockdown there before throwing that, but that's what it is. Go for another special two, and it's over. And I healed up to 90%, or 80, 88%. Which is nice for the next Travis fight I've got. Right, next up is Titania. So, for this fight, originally, there was a game plan. Two special one, special two. Only decks the special one. And try and get an intercept. Just because getting an intercept will mean that... Uh, I have the Steadfast, and every time she throws a special, she gets completely power drained. So, at the moment, I'm yet to land an Intercept. I don't know how I blocked that unblockable hit, because I don't have my Steadfast. I don't know how I didn't gain the Steadfast there. Didn't throw two special ones. Didn't dex a special one. Pushed a special two. Which was, again, again, all against my game plan. This heavy doesn't kill, surprisingly and I fail to dex the special two and it instantly kills me. So everything that I or we, we talked about to not do, I did. Which was perfect. So, that wasn't necessarily a bullshit tactic death, like a lot of people say deaths are this season. That's literally just me being an idiot.
and yeah, just shoot up special two this time, charge heavy for a slight little bit, I know it's going to kill. And yeah, stay annoyed about that fight, because that was not nice. But yeah, next up I've got this Sauron, rank 3 Sauron on, uh, I think this is 41 or 40. It's the one where if I dex and let the buff expire it'll drain my power. That comes to bite me in the ass this, this fight. So, the plan here was special one, special two, and that should finish it. To be honest, I, I was trying to just hold block and let him bait a heavy, and he just threw him a special into my block. Got an intercept that time. Luckily, got the stun there so the same thing didn't happen again. And then go into striker, get special two, throw it. And this alone gets him down to 22%. And way overkill with that heavy. Which is, I threw a second special one, so got to 100 charges, but that was way overkill. Anyway, last fight this war is this Adam. I've taken this a few times, I've died to it once before. Not again. Never happening again. Not while I'm here. So, yeah, same game plan as always, literally just try and bait special ones, he's been very stingy, up until like, 1% of him gaining, 1% away from a special 2, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about this, he's got his sovereignty now, so I just need to watch out to not parry, try and build up my negative zones again, just so that I'm negating as much of that power gain as possible. Go for a relic to keep another dimension up. Another heavy attack. Just control the power gain. Heavy cancel, so I have all three dimensions up. That gets him to 3%. Throws a special just before activating his pod. Punish and nuke him. Now, we did end up win this war, I think it was 22 to 24. Thank you very much for watching guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.